Hey guys, what's up? Pitmarthra here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. In the last episode, we finished up Cloud Runner Fortress and got the second spellstone. In this episode, we are going to be getting to the first point temple and hopefully actually getting it inserted. So uh, we're going to do just that. If you are bad at remembering which way is which from e either Cape Claw, which is the Ocean Force Point, or the uh, other one, which is the Fire Force Point, the Cape Claw Force Point Temple area is the one that's the exit near the R Wing. Just see so you now. And yes, I realized the intro before. Hey guys, what's up? Pit Marthroy here was a little awkward, but I had to show that off. That was too weird. He got that put up like a few days ago, and I was trying to find the battery in my camera, and it turns out it got stuck in the suitcase that I used whenever I was taking one to Rio Dosa, and it got like stuck in the side of the suitcase. It was really strange. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, rather weird, but yeah, I don't know who did that. I don't know if it was Hammer Feet got somebody to do it and they just did something really stupid. Or I don't know what it's supposed to be or what it is. It's, I mean, I know it's supposed to be a donkey, but it's, that's pretty freaking weird. But anyway, um, quick side note that I wanted to add into this while I'm backtracking because it really doesn't have anything to do with it and I didn't want to shut off because it took a while for me to explore all the way through it, but uh, no, it's not the game well, fortunately. I hate that thing anyway. I might show the game well off at the very end of the project, but unless you guys really want to see it, then I won't. It has no relevance to actually playing the game whatsoever. But if you want to see it, then go ahead and comment if you want to see it. If you don't, then comment if you don't. But what I was going to say is, um, off screen, I did check because somebody asked me in the comments, I don't have your user nav up right now, so I apologize. Um, somebody asked me in the comments in the uh, Thorntail store if there was a uh, secret area that was like a fake wall. Uh, I did check all the areas, and none of them were fake walls. There are staff booster areas that will uh, lead you to a specific area, which I've already shown off before. But other than that, there is no secret area within the store. So, yeah. Just thought I'd clear that up that there is no secret area. And that was actually a wonderful timing because we are already at Cape Claw. So we didn't really get to explore this place too much last time, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more depth to this area, because I actually really like Cape Claw, the area itself. It's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and go down here. You don't have to go this way. You could go around by using the bridge, but I just didn't. And here's the entrance, but as you can see, the entrance is blocked. Yeah, that's a bit problematic. So, if you remember, last time we came here, there was one staff power-up that we did not have, and that was the Sharp Claw Disguise. But if you also remember from last time, there was a switch up here that had a Sharp Claw Disguise button, so if we stand on this and use Disguise, we can open up this area. Is there something? I don't know, that's just a torch. Notice it was kind of strange lit. Now we're actually inside that area right here, but we're not officially inside the temple just yet. So what we need to do is stand on this platform right here. That will push this platform up. Now this is a switch that you have to have somebody standing on, so you will have Tricky have to stay right here. And then we can go back around and get on this platform. Wonderful. Once we do that, that will activate a an, an, not a area, an area. And it will get rid of that waterfall behind the bridge that I mentioned a second ago. So let's go ahead and go back. Tricky will follow us eventually. So it doesn't matter if we leave him there. Ouch. Yeah, that was a bit stupid of me, but oh well. And yeah, he just randomly showed up right there. Okay. I'm actually playing with a different controller now. This one is a wired controller, so whenever Fox falls or whatever, I do feel the little vibration that it gives off. Ooh, let's go ahead and pick this up and see what's inside. Money! Always welcome. Okay, so inside here, I have a little bit of a pathway. It pretty much forces you to take a, um, a specific route because of the current, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter which way you go, so, you know, whatever works for you. We'll go up here. 
And inside here we have staff energy. And health, presumably because I don't think you cannot get hurt right there. You can't not get hurt. And right here we have fire that just randomly decided to appear because, you know, it can do that. Along with this little thing behind it. So let's put out the fire. And this thing was inside. And removing that caused water to drain from that area. And flow into here. And this did two things. One, it makes it accessible to this area, which is the main way of getting into the Force Point Temple. And second, it caused the water to flow up here, creating a shortcut that will take us outside. Now, I'll explain what those things are in a minute, because there is a second one, so... Now that we are inside here, there is a switch. Yeah, here it is. Use this, and that will lower this platform down. Wait for Tricky to go up there. Once he's at the top, use flame. And he will burn out that whatever it's supposed to be. I'll create sunlight on both sides. Now there's a second one of these, and we need to put both of them, they're fire gems, put them both into the slots. So one of them's right there. So let's go get the second one. Oh, that was the C stick. I was wondering what that was for a second there. I was like, mm, that's weird. The second one, I believe, is somewhere over here. Probably would have been smarter to land in the water and not let myself get hurt right there, but oh well. I already dug that spot up. I don't know why I thought I hadn't. Okay, it's not back here. Hey! Hit me, you little jerk. Oh wait, I know what it I know where it is. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Ignore me. I always forget this portion right here. As you can see the sharp claw are beating something up over there. I'm not really sure what it is. Upon further inspection, it is what they call a light foot in this game. So we're gonna go ahead and beat these guys up for being a jerk. Because the best way to teach a bully a lesson is be exactly like them. And we'll beat this guy the normal way. Do not do that. Jeez. Uh, before we talk to him... But I could have sworn I saw healing there, but I guess it's not. Uh, if we talk to this guy... Hey, you stay away, you stinking fireball, or me smash you good. What? But I just saved you. Me yeah, trust you tell no him. one. Sharpclaw say I steal their things, but they stinking liars. Nintendo, that's not how you pronounce, or not pronounce, that's not how you say the word stinking. It's not spelled with two E's. It's I-N, not E-E. -E. Ah! Oh. I don't want it. Place. Adios. <laughs> okay, that was rather weird. And now apparently it's on the ground. Okay, sure, we'll go with that. This is a fire gem inside the gem. Is a sacred Crusoe flame. Return it to the Crusoe head and open up the Ocean Force Point Temple. I am assuming you're supposed to get that one first, but I always get that one second. So. Doesn't matter which order you get them in, they're both the exact same thing. Alright, so now we can actually start the Forceborn Temple. Yeah, we should be able to get this done. Alright, here's the second one. I'm actually surprised at how well I'm remembering this game. I know I forgot that for a second there, but I actually remembered it once I saw it. Which is pretty cool, because I haven't played this game, like I said, since last time I've Let's Played it, which was quite a while back. Alright, so now we're in here. And I... Right, you can't look up with that button, never mind. This is essentially just a switch to get the water level to go higher, so... 
there should be a target on the ceiling somewhere. There it is. Go shoot that. And apparently now we're in the middle of the room and the water level has risen. Risen. It has risen. And that will take us up here. Could grab this, I guess. It's sitting right here. Have tricky slime. Yeah, that whatever that stuff is, it can hurt you, apparently. And behind that. Oh, never mind, that was from Tricky Slime. I thought I'd have to put that out. Is a block. And that was a bad idea. I should have jumped into the water right there because I actually need to turn the switch off now. Yes, you can actually turn the switches off. They don't just stay on. Because we need to push that block onto the switch in the center right there. And we can't do that while the water is raised. So we'll do that. And that will open that area up. So now we can progress onward. The only thing I do not like about the Ocean Force Point Temple, as you'll see in a little while, is there's one puzzle in there that's pretty annoying, because I always mess it up for some reason, when it's really not that bad. It's not as mirror-imaged as the last one, fortunately, and I always do that. I always go out the wrong door. It's not really like a mirror image like the Fire Force Point Temple was, so it's a little bit easier not to get lost, other than this first room right here, which I always seem to get lost in for some reason. I always take the wrong exit. So now we'll actually start the Voice Point Temple. Hooray! Alright, so let's see what we got here. Whoa, hello. Alright, we got this little room first. Yeah, there's some enemies in here, but really nothing that big a deal. I love how these pillars look right here. They just look awesome. Let's go ahead and feed Tricky really quickly here. Where is he? What the? Tricky! He's stuck on a wall, of course. Idiot. Good for you. Don't really need to pick these up, but whatever. Oh, here we go. Here's some health. I don't want to fight this guy, but fine. Okay, there. Now he won't show up again. Keeping your health high is really not that big of a deal. And pretty much the entirety of the game just to keep it at least, you know, decent. But I figured I'd go ahead and, you know, enter with max health so I can use the great spin. Oh, wait, wrong game. That's Twilight Princess. Haha. -ha. Referencing a game that I have not let's played. I don't really want to let's play that immediately because A, I am really bad about remembering the stuff in the game for that one in particular. In fact, even though I've only played Skyward Sword 3 twice, I could probably give you a better idea of what you're supposed to do in Skyward Sword than Twilight Princess, despite the fact I've played that game through like seven or eight times almost. Or at least, you know, played a good amount of the seven or eight times. I know I've beaten it at least three times though. Go and get the money. And then also because one of my friends is actually doing that uh, LP. Actually, very close to finishing as well. He's already in Hyrule Castle. Alright, there we go. Cool. Let's see what we got inside here. I don't know where you want to call the official starting point, but this is definitely it because we used the Spellstone. So, here's the puzzle I was talking about right here. So what you do is, you stand on the space right here, and it gives you these things to memorize. And what you have to do is go across the platforms over there, because most of them are electricity, and some of them aren't. Uh, there's a really good trick for this, and all you have to do is have Tricky e stay right here. And then you can go right up next to these things, and look back on them. Okay, so the far right one, the far left one. Once you step on a switch, the whole row sinks down, then you're good. Far left. And this one. And then far right. Second from left. And then the third one. Alright, cool. I'm actually glad I got that on first try. If you get it wrong, it'll just show you like a little cutscene of Fox getting knocked backwards. And you'll have to redo the whole thing. That's a 
essentially it. Hey! Not done with you, punk. Really easy to just use this on the big guys. And then just kill them in one hit. A lot easier for those. Maybe the smaller characters or the little grunt dudes, the yellow ones. Probably not as big of a deal, but... That one in particular I just really can't stand. And here we have a puzzle that's kind of annoying. You have to be really careful on this one, or really slow, one of the two. I don't care if that guy hits me. What we have here is platforming. So we have three platforms, the hard one, the easy one, and the medium one. This one right here is the easy one, as you can well imagine. Which would have been really funny if I'd failed that. So that activates one thing. They basically all activate something different, but we'll get into what each one is. You have to activate all three, so it's not like, oh, well, I can leave this one here and then not, you know, deal with it. And I nearly landed on top of that guy. Let's see if I can get here before he hits me. Okay, cool. But yeah, you probably should try to run across it like I did right there. Maybe you can on the easy one, but the medium or hard. Might want to go a little bit slower. It's not as bad as the one puzzle that uh, you have to walk across with like the fire thing going up at you. But it's mostly bad because of the slippery effect. There's the second one. A bad guy. Well, I had noticed. Yeah, but anyway, going back to the uh, LP so far, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Or at least I know some of you are, so that's always good. I always thought this game was a little bit strange. The first time I LP'd it, I know at least a few people didn't really enjoy it. They didn't really hate it, but they didn't like it as much as the other LP I was doing at the same time, which was uh, Majora's Mask. So I am glad that you guys are enjoying this. So when I first did this, I had like 50 subscribers, so that's like, you know, 310 subscriber difference. So there's more of you to watch it, obviously, but still. Okay, so what one of the switches did was uh, it activated, or it deactivated the little thing that was right here, so we can actually swim through this area. I believe that was the medium path that activated that. We can climb up here. And then uh, one of them activated this little thing in the center right here that's changing colors. Let's go grab this guy. And then the final one actually activated that green thing to enable it to glow. Let's go ahead and activate fire. Line it up. And there we go. What that did was it actually activated this thing in the center. You can't use it without uh, getting those three, so make sure that you do that first. I maxed on Scarab, so I don't know why in the world I went for that thing. But let's go ahead and grab the health. And enter. The Mountains of Despair. I just thought the way the dude said that in the zoom first Zoom Beanie game was really strange, but eh, whatever. Now we're in the second half of two, so... Yeah, this one seems a lot shorter to me, but maybe that's just from what I've noticed while playing this game the few times that I have played it through. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that there is a rocket boost thing right here, but we can't use it because it is not active. Right here, we have a, a little bit of a block puzzle. This little red and green... Where is he? I think he's up there. That little red and green thing is actually the goal, and what we need to do is get the block that is on this course, or will be on this course, anyway, we need to just push it in there, but for right now, that's not a big deal. First, let's go up here and see what we can see. Because I don't remember the second half of this too well, so... It's basically a set of four or five rooms. I think four. This might just be a staff energy. Yeah, it is, but I'll take it anyway. Because, you know, it's right there. No point in not using it. Uh, can we go through here? Okay, we can't go that way. Oh, there's that dude up there. There's that glass of milk again. Let's go ahead and get rid of this dude. Yeah, those guys can be one-hit KOs, so you can get them with anything. Fire Blaster. You don't have to use a bomb like you would at the very beginning with crystals. The little part. 
You don't have to worry about that. Okay, was the box there and I just didn't see it? Apparently not. Maybe there was another pathway that I was supposed to take? Uh, must be these doors right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I thought I was doing something wrong there. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do is jump across these little areas. And this one is actually hiding a staff booster that does work currently. So we're going to go ahead and make use of this. And this holds some fuel cells. Very good. We're going to be needing those. We don't need, like, 30 or anything like that. We don't need anything, like, a ridiculous amount, but, you know, they're right there. There's no reason not to get them. Uh, let's see. Logic would dictate, since it's the only way to go, this is probably the way we're supposed to be going. I have to love how this platform looks right here. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is a raising and lowering the water platform puzzle, and also pushing a block. First thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of this right here, because it's kind of in the way. Yeah, yeah, I know. Why? I'm standing right next to you. Crazy fool. Alright, there we go. The water is lowered. The skies. We only need it for a second, then we can take it right back off. Go ahead and grab this real quick. Yeah, you're going to be using a fair amount of staff energy here, so just a fair warning. And Tricky just glitched through the cube. That was rather strange. I don't remember where you place this. I believe it's directly opposite where we were whenever we first picked it up. Stop sounding like you're constipated, Fox. That's very creepy. Uh, yeah, we need to put it up there. Okay, cool. I actually remember what I'm doing! It's probably a good thing I did this one first, to make my mind go a bit numb, because I got a lot of recording sessions after this. I got, um, the LP I'm going to be doing in the future, as well as, uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for my, one of my co-op channels, Hardcore Gaming Online. Alright, so that opened that area up. I'll bet that's where I'm supposed to take it to, wasn't it? Well, maybe. I don't, I don't know. This is the way we came in, so it's probably not that one. Uh, where? Oh, where has the thing gone? Okay, apparently that wasn't it. Oh, right, okay, I see what we're supposed to be doing here. We actually need to raise the water again to get through. The reason that we had to lower the water was to push the, um, or get that switch over there to open up the door to the next area. What we need to do is take this cube and put it over here so we can climb back up and or raise the water level again. I just told you, Tricky, were you not paying attention to the last 15 seconds? Alright, there we go. And now we'll raise the water level. And now we can swim through to the next area. Okay, good. Oh, it's this puzzle. I forgot about this one. And there's a reason. I don't like it. The... Whenever we have to come back, this puzzle will be a lot more annoying. But for right now, it's not terrible. Let's get rid of this dude here. Okay. So, essentially what we need to do is there should be a switch somewhere around here. This might be it. It might be a flame command. Stay. Oh, no, not stay. Flame. Yeah, it's a flame command. So, this is a really odd puzzle. They don't explain this very well. But um, what you're going to need to do is... Could you please cut to what I'm actually trying to show? That thing right there has four torches on it, and what you're going to be doing is hitting the, um, using fire to hit those things up on the wall that it showed a second ago, and attempting to douse the flames. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, why in the world would this be difficult at all? Because, like, I just got one right there. It does increase in speed a little bit, but for the most part, it's not terrible. You have to wait a little while before you can, you know, get another one. Use it again. And you have to time this somewhat well. Just 
we can get this. Yeah, alright, cool. Now, you might be thinking, why is this hard whenever you come back? And there's our block. The reason it's hard when you come back is there are color-coded flames and color-coded statues, so only a certain one can put out the flame. That's why it's more difficult when we come back. After the break, you know. Should I kill this guy? I know he can't follow me, but I prefer to kill him anyway. Just because I don't like him. Alright, so, block puzzle. Whenever you come back, this is also extremely easy, believe it or not. All you have to do is just aim the block at wherever you want to shoot it to. And whichever direction you hit it from, it will move the opposite direction, so it's pretty straightforward. You really should not be having a problem with this. And I can understand why you'd miss it, like, the first time if you're not, you know, if you don't know what you're supposed to do right here, but... It's pretty easy. I mean, there are a lot worse block puzzles in Zelda than this one. And there we go. And that will activate the staff booster if I'm correct. Yep, there we go. Alright, cool. We're about done with this area. So now, we are going to take that staff booster right here. And yeah, we're running low on magic, but they give you plenty of energy crystals. What is that moron doing? Glitching through the ground and the wall. And now we're just going to go through this little square right here. You can kind of see it on our map. Let me zoom out here. Oh, no, that wasn't it. There you go. Now you can kind of see what we're doing on the map down there. Now, this is actually where you're supposed to get off right here in a second, but... We're going to quickly go through this last area because you can actually pick up a uh, Bafom Dad. Uh, what the? Stop glitching out, camera. Maybe you can't pick it up yet. Maybe that's in the second area, but oh well, we don't really need it. Anyway. I need to move a little bit this direction. Alright, good. And for the blue one, I think I missed it. Am I too far back? Maybe it's a green and I just can't tell. Let me try green. Sure enough, it was green. And once you that platform will appear. Sometimes green and blue are kind of hard to tell the difference between because they're really close together. And it doesn't help that you're in a bluish green area. You know, if it's red, it's extremely easy to tell it's red. This red stands out of those three. And yep, there we go. That was the end of the area, which is good because we're about to end the video. So getting the second spellstone put in, that's that's pretty good progress. Sorry if this video is a little bit long. No, I refuse. And we shall put the spellstone in. So we have gotten two of them put back in place. That leaves two more. So we're about halfway done, and whenever I logged into this uh, file to start doing the Let's Play, you know, this video, it said 50% completed, so we're probably closer to finishing than we were at starting. And Tricky's being weird. Alright, so, with the second spellstone returned, we have finished this video out. Oh, wait, we have a little thing right here. Check out the dinosaur plant map to see where to head next. All right, well, let's go ahead and... Helped you, Fox. Slip me out. Yeah, bite me. Hi, Fox. World map downloading. We were supposed to go back to Thorntail Hollow. I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen, because y'all know how to get back, hopefully, at this point. So, next time on Let's Play, uh, Star Fox Adventures. We're not going to get stuck on the freaking enemy right there. We will see what the next objective is after getting the second spellstone, whether it will be a Crusoe Spirit or a, another spellstone. I guess we will find out next time. So, this has been Pit Martha Roy. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Later.